Now Cowan sees a bit of a gap and off he goes. Referee in trouble. Big trouble. Better blow your whistle, sir. Oh, I think oh, he's dear. been hurt. Yeah, that's, uh, that's nasty. There's not much of him. And they want to get the St John's man on. Well, he just got caught in a terrible position. Okay. And the players, to their credit, stopped immediately. Yeah, they did. Brad Thorne did very well. What actually happened was Jimmy Cowan spotted that Nigel Owens was right close to the ruck and decided to take the opportunity to burst through there and use them sort of as a decoy. But what happened was Nigel Owens tried okay. to get out of the way. We see him here, so he gets pushed by Johan Smith, and he's gone right down on... Skulk Berger's, Berger's gone right on top of him. Got to hurt. Oh, just watch Johan Smith here. He's actually given him a fair old push. Yeah, he has, but I understand where he's coming from because he was the defender that was supposed to tackle ah, Cowan, okay. and Cowan used the ref to ship it behind. So Smith, okay. I guess, fear a, a big breakout, decided to try and make up for it by pushing him out of the way. Unfortunately, he pushed him into the middle of it rather than away from him. And he's up, look at him. Tough Welshman, he won't, he won't be bothered by that. No. Well, he'll get a break shortly anyway because he'll be able to blow the whistle by half-time very not, shortly. There's not many uh, referees you see that come off at half-time with a big grass stain on their nice white top, is there, TJ? Uh, you mentioned it, though. Great sportsmanship from the players to stop immediately out of their concern.